good morning. So I had to make a run to the store because we were out of water and I'm bougie when it comes to water. I don't like faucet water. And yes, we do drink that much water, especially Savannah. We call her the water monster because she can down like 20 water bottles in a matter of what, just a few days, which is good, you know, but we just have to keep water in the house. But she will drink faucet water. Me and Cheyenne, we won't. And the only water I won't drink in a bottled water is Dasani because that has other stuff in it and has stuff in there to make you thirsty. That's the reason why they sell it at theme parks and sporting events and stuff like that. Do your research on Dasani. If you like the taste of it and I don't know, just do your research on Dasani. It's, it's, yeah, to me, it's a whole tactic to make you buy more because it has stuff in there that makes you thirsty. And I used to wonder when I would take the kids to Disneyland, we would get Dasani and I would wonder why I'm still so thirsty. But then I would buy a Coke, a bottle of Coke, and it quenches my thirst. Dasani has salt in it or something in it that makes you want more. And that's just wrong. And a lot of other countries ban Dasani. Do your research. I won't drink Dasani. Um, I also won't drink, is it Aquafina? No, it's Arrowhead. Arrowhead water to me tastes like faucet water, water out the sink. And nothing's wrong with tap water, but I don't know, it's just, it doesn't taste right to me. It's, it's, it's gross. Anyway, so yeah, my kids call me bougie with water and I call Savannah the water monster. So anyway, all that to say, yes, you see me buy 80 bottles of water because there's 40 in each of them. And I just got the Winco brand, so yeah. And I'm just sitting here. Um, I know you guys hear my loud fan. It's only supposed to be in the 80s today, so not that hot. And I do have my front door open because it's still early. And I wanted to make sure I go to the store early before the crowd gets in. And I have my door open, like I was saying, because I like the morning air. And within 30 minutes, I'm going to close it and turn my air on because, you know, it's going to get pretty warm today. But, yeah, you guys. Um just making my breakfast I bought like watermelon slices cut up and then like the bre breakfast toaster strudels and coffee so that's what I'm going to have right now nothing fancy so yeah show y'all this without giving y'all half of a peace sign anyway when I brought the waters in earlier I pinched my finger and it hurt and 
and I didn't look till now, and there's a little blood blister there. It's not focusing, so it's on a blanket. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, it hurts. Good morning, everyone. Haven't had y'all here in a minute, huh? Um, getting ready for work, about to make my, not make my coffee, but pour my coffee, iced coffee. I got up earlier than normal today because I have to go to the store because I forgot we had a potluck today. Like a breakfast potluck. So I'm gonna pick up some pastries and call it a day. Not sure what to bring. Definitely not cookies. Ah, oh, perfect. Here we go. Maybe one more thing. Oh, these would be even better. Okay, I need both my hands. Okay, so I got these two, blueberry and then cinnamon swirl. Okay, so it's much later. Made it home, work was okay. Um, I don't know if I told you guys this. I think I was about to tell you guys this this morning, but I didn't like the angle of the camera. So anyway, with my job, well, for those of you that don't know, I work a hybrid schedule, two days in the office and three days at home, right? So apparently i feel like i told you guys this anyway i've told you guys this just nod your head and smile um maybe like three months ago we got an email saying that they were doing reorganization at the company and i'm kind of panicking and i'm looking through that because i know what that means right a lot of people are going to be losing their jobs they're condensing departments stuff like that so they were saying that it wasn't going to happen for like four or five months and give people a chance to apply for other positions, which I hate when companies do that. Just my personal opinion. Anyway, so I'm looking through the list of each department and our department, the revenue department, was not on there. So I'm like, OK, we'll be fine. And then we got like confirmation from our boss that our department is safe. So. Let's just hope that's still the case. Anyway, so that was months ago. So now fast forward to like within the last 30 days, because in my building, and of course I can't tell you guys where it is, the floor that we are on, my company owns the whole floor. So they're trying to get rid of the whole floor because apparently they pay 22,000 a month for rent. And I'm thinking, I'm like, you guys rebuilt this whole section for us to come back into the office because they needed certain standards for COVID and you know six feet apart stuff like that so they did all this and then and I'm not complaining over this part um, they did all this and then now they're going to get rid of the building because I guess they're trying to cut back on their finances or whatever I don't know so we were told that we have the choice of being 100% in the office, keeping our hybrid schedule, or being 100% remote, which, duh, hello. The majority of us picked the 100% remote, and I think maybe four people picked the hybrid schedule, and one girl, she picked every day in the office because she works every day in the office now. She hates working from home, which, not my business. I don't know. Maybe she don't like being at home with her family. I don't know. Not my business, but... um so we were told that that was going to start September 1st. Um, this is the beginning of August. So we are looking forward to that. We haven't heard any more words. We just heard that they sent our names up to the higher ups to tell, to let them know who is choosing to work from home 100%. And I've told you guys before that there's really no reason for us to go into the office other than to print, which we're gonna get a system to where we won't have to print as much and if we for some reason had to they would make a way for us to go into one of the actual dental offices in print so we were told that and we're all looking forward to it 
and hopefully that happens soon. We haven't heard anything else about it, but with my company, you guys, they can tell you one thing one day, and then the next week it'll be something else, and they'll forget that they said what they told you before, so I don't know. And then they were saying that if we did do that, of course they're gonna get some kind of system to where some kind of program on there where it tracks everything we go but websites why would i go on a website and do stuff on the company computer that's what my own computer is for right my phone my ipad my laptop anyway but i mean i get it but to me that's like that's such micromanaging but yeah that's actually good news so hopefully that still stays the case that they're gonna let us go 100 percent home um, because yeah they're trying to get rid of their $22,000 a month rent which that's a lot of money I knew office space was expensive but I didn't know it could be that expensive so yeah and I'm thinking they're probably doing it that way because to me I, we could stay home now you know but maybe they are like Maybe they have a lease and maybe the lease will be up at the end of August. I don't know. We're just trying to guess and whatever, but we haven't heard anything else. So I will keep you guys informed on that. I will be happy if we are 100% at home because I don't have to see them. And not that I don't like them, but there are certain people that if it wasn't for work, you wouldn't talk to. We, you just know that. So yeah, Um. anyway, just wanted to tell you guys that. I'm just going to relax and enjoy the rest of the evening. If there's something that happens, I'll pop back on, but yeah. Hello everyone. Happy Monday. I'm so tired. I just clocked out. And I'm about to remote out in just a few seconds. I'm just approving my time for today. Okay, now the computer froze. Come on. Anyway, um, I'm off the clock, but I guess I could talk to you guys until my computer decides it wants to work. It's not doing anything. Nope. Did I say today is Monday? I probably did. I don't know. I am so tired, you guys. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Just thought I'd show you guys, my plant is still thriving. It's living, it's definitely thriving, but I wish it would grow more of these. And you can tell I'm doing something right because look at all these new little leaves or whatever you wanna call it that are coming out. But I want it to be fuller than what it is. But, oh well. It, at least I haven't killed this one yet. And I think I've had it two years. I think two years. So that's a win for me, you guys. You just don't know. I killed everything. And I don't know if I showed you guys this. I know you guys know that I collect shot glasses. But the most recent ones that I got is a co-worker went to Hawaii. And she gave me this. This was from Great America. Yes, I've been to Great America. But the girls actually went a couple Fridays ago. Um, I wasn't able to get off. And I kind of didn't really want to go, so I never got a shot glass from there. I told them to get me one, which, if you guys don't know, Paramount's Great America or California Great America, whatever it's called now, will be closed within the next 10 years. They've been bought out. And then my manager went to Spain, and she got me this Barcelona with the little geckos or lizards, whatever. So cute. Just trying to fill everything up. I only have, let me see, one... This is from the same person. She went to Colorado. One, two, three. I'm trying to count the ones that I have not been to the places. So three, I've never been to Jerusalem. Four, and five, Vegas. Everything else are places that I have been. What I usually do is I only collect the ones at the places I visited, but I'm like, you know what? It's a souvenir and what if I never get to Spain? Yeah, it's on my bucket list, but what if I never go? Yeah, I'm so mad at myself, so I'm doing the dishes, and 
the tea kettle which sits on the stove you know I wash it randomly but because of the food we cooked last night they had a bunch of grease that splattered on here so I made the mistake of spraying oven cleaner on here and it took off all the paint that's horrible the tea kettle works fine but now it's just an eyesore it's super ugly I'm gonna have to get another tea kettle y'all yeah first world problems we're at the drive-in about to see at the drive-in guys <laughs> about to see hunted mansion and it's second. just the second yeah just kidding well they they know and it's just me shine and savannah and they're over there taking selfies <laughs> It is Tuesday morning. I'm about to go into the office. They need to hurry up and tell us when we can work from home permanently because I'm spoiled from working at home, you could tell. Probably gonna go get coffee, not make it here, and then start my work day. And I decided to bring out the camera and vlog for you guys, hopefully all day. We'll see. Y'all, it should not be this hot at six in the morning. My thermostat says 72. It's supposed to be 108 today, and it's already feeling really muggy and just icky out. I want to go home. Y'all, look what happened. So my little wall of collage of pictures here. I call it my little Rome wall, Italy wall, whatever you want to call it. So one picture fell off, and I just never went to the store to buy more command strips because the wall is textured. I don't know if you guys can see. And so it's not a smooth surface. So I don't want to put nails in the wall because I don't want to ruin my walls. What if one day I want to change my decor in here, you know? So what if I want to change it and then I'm going to have to repair the walls as well so I just put command strips on the back well it's still sticky but it gave out and this one fell off a few nights ago and Cheyenne said it scared her she came out because she thought something broke and I'm glad it didn't break the glass didn't break and then when I came home from work today this one was laying right here so I do have command strips that I bought I'm gonna put that back up yeah but isn't this cute you guys and I did show you guys this in the dining room reveal which if I remember I'll try to link that video down below but yeah all right we are back in business and if I remember correctly the ones at the top and the majority of them have four command strips around them and I think as I ran out that's the reason why the probably the whole bottom layer only has two but we're back up okay we'll see I need to just buy some command strips and just keep them just in case hello so it's days later from the last clip anyway today is Tuesday and that day I was supposed I was supposed to fill you guys in on my work from home situation anyway that same day get to the office and a lady comes around here's your parking pass well it is private property but you have to have a permit in order to park there so we get the parking passes which I'm sure my company has to pay for and we're like if we're supposed to be going home to work why are we getting any parking passes but I guess it became in effect this week so we had to have the little tag that shows that we're you know we're able to park there and at first when I got it, I'm like, they changed their mind. We're going to have to keep the hybrid schedule or we're going to have to come into work every day, which a lot of people go into work every day. I get it. But if you're spoiled like me, working hybrid, you know, then that's what you want. Right. So we found out that it's just because while we're there and when we go back to the office, you know, they want us to have some place to park. Oh, so y'all, I was sitting in my bed one day like I am now and my bed makes a lot of noise it's always been that way i bought this bedroom set in 2012 a year after i moved in and i bought the bed the two nightstands and the large dresser and when i bought it because you know as you can see it's brown i was into the browns greens the dark colors like that and i don't know if you guys remember but when i moved into my house which i didn't vlog when i moved into the house but when I started vlogging, 
my bedroom walls were poop brown. They were ugly and horrible and hideous. But at that time, I loved it. So yeah, when I bought it, I absolutely loved it. And it's a sleigh bed, so it's it's pretty big. It's it's a queen size. And so if I move, if I roll over, it just makes noise. It squeaks. Like I said, it's done that since day one. Y'all hear that? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening. That's what always happens. So the kids always know when I'm getting in and out of bed, when I'm rolling over, it's just, and then right there, that's the living room. So when we used to have Bible studies over here, like men's Bible studies, I would stay in my room and Tyreek would be out there with, you know, the men of the church, whatever. And I would try so hard not to move. But he said a lot of times when I would move in my bed or whatever, he, they heard it in the living room. It's just really embarrassing because it's like, what is she doing? I'm literally sitting in my bed or I'm literally getting up. That's it. That's all, y'all. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm like, I want another bed. I'm tired of this one. It's brown. It's ugly. I don't like it anymore. Um, it's not ugly. I just don't, I don't like it anymore. And it's becoming ugly to me. So when I redid my bedroom, I'm like, I'm not getting a new bedroom set because it's fairly new. And when I say fairly new, it's been, it's been a little over 10 years and it's still sturdy, it's still strong, it's still good. And at that time, it was even newer. So I'm like, there's no way I'm trying to spend more money just to get a different color because I did want to lighten up the room. Even though the walls are pretty dark, kinda. The flow is just, it's a really nice, it's, it's a really nice feel in my room. So I'm sitting here one night and I'm like, you know what, I don't want this bed anymore it's noisy it's getting on my nerve you know i'm gonna get another bed but then i started thinking i'm like i like my dressers my dressers have a marble countertop and they're just big and sturdy and nothing's wrong with them why am i gonna get rid of this furniture michelle with there's literally nothing wrong other than your bed and so i started thinking i'm like y'all know me i'm pretty handy i can do a few things y'all have seen the upgrades and the DIYs I've done to many rooms of my house so I'm like okay what if I paint my dressers if I change them up lighten them up and then that way I save money and then I can just get a new bed because it's time for me to get a new mattress I've had this mattress 20 years and it's just starting to feel really weird in addition to that and my squeaky bed which i don't want anymore and you probably just say just get a new mattress no something's i don't i don't want this bed anymore i don't want it anymore i don't like it it's big it's bulky it's like made for an 80 year old look at that i don't know it's i just don't like it anymore i yeah so i've already started researching on different beds and whatever i'm gonna be getting a new bed you guys but i'm gonna be painting my dressers and i actually started already so let me show you guys so i don't want to show you too much of my dresser because it has like mail on top with my address but this is one of my dressers and i'll probably just pop in a picture that way you guys can see and then here's a sneak peek on the other side of something oh come on because it's white of something that i'm trying so yeah you guys can see it's all gonna come together in another video let me see if i can yeah there you go okay i tried one i tried my hand at redoing and sanding and just completely doing it and i'm actually pretty proud of this there's some imperfections on it which i am going to fix before i do the full video and it's not going to be a room makeover because my room is basically going to be the same i'm not repainting the walls because i love the wall color i am just getting a new bed eventually and i am going to um paint my dressers and i'm going to get a, a new rug for my floor so yeah but you guys y'all know with me when i do projects it takes me a long time to do them 
because number one, I do things in my budget. Number two, it also takes me a long time because I've told you guys this before, I just don't wanna buy something and get it just because I wanna redo it. I want to get something that I really like. So I've been scrolling forever on Amazon and on overstock.com and the different rug places to find the perfect rug that I have it in my price range or whatever like that. So yeah, certain things like that. And the bed is actually gonna be like one of the last things I get. There's like maybe four or five that I'm going to choose between. But if you guys know where I can get a good quality mattress, please let me know so I can order it. And yeah, but that's the only thing that's going on you guys as far as my job. Y'all know me, I always stay with the project to do because that's just me. And Savannah has been talking about redoing her room for the last year. And she wants me to paint some of her dressers also. But right now, she's not really focused on it because, oh, I know I've been talking forever. Y'all, so I don't know if I told you guys this, but Savannah is in college, right? She technically has her AA degree. And even though she had a graduation, she didn't walk because she knew she was going back. Of course, her big one, we're, you know, we're all going to be there. She's going to walk in. I told her, I said, you know what? She's one of my first kids to graduate college. And I wanted her to walk because I wanted to be there. And, you know, because I'm proud of her. So now, in addition to that, she's going to Christian college as well to major in music. And, of course, they take theology and, um, like, Bible classes and stuff like that. It's an accredited college. So a lot of things that she doesn't have to retake and then because i know sometimes with christian colleges you go to christian college and then you can't get a secular job and it's not the case with what she's doing and where she's going it's accredited and yeah and y'all she's excited about that i'm excited for her because this college i actually wanted to go to when i was younger it's been around forever but i really wasn't supported back then that's all i'm gonna say about that so yeah she is doing that and i couldn't be more proud than i am now with my baby so yeah that's all that's going on y'all nothing much nothing much at all